Hi everyone, I'm going to continue this awesome series of the town woods of Dafyomi. We're talking all about sheep over here. here. I'm just in the shop at the moment. No coincidence, we've got uh, just a few books featuring all about sheep in today's stuff in the page over here. You can see the sheep behind me over here. This is just in the kids' uh, Torah book Judaica shop. So very, very interesting. We're talking about what is the terminology of the translation of sheep. It is se. Se is uh, naturally a sheep. So we learned in the previous pages that or we learn in the Torah and Sefer Shemot that a person that is going to steal and kill two different kinds of animals, an ox or a sheep, that's a shore or a seh respectively, will have to pay penalties of four or five. Four being a seh, which sheep naturally is translated, or five being an ox called a shore also. That will be the penalty if someone steals it and kills it. This is obviously without any admittance in between. But friends, in, t in today's page, we're going to we're going to decide, we know that some of these animals are interchangeable. An ox could fall in the same category of other animals also potentially, or a second also. So what is a set exactly? What is a sheep exactly? It could it be a crossbreed or not, popularly known as kilaim, or is it just specifically a sheep in its own intrinsic right? So friends, uh, so there's going to be machloka between the brighter and the actual uh, and another great rabbi with the name Rava in today's stuff. So Rava is actually going to hold that a sheep is an animal, but it can't be an animal of the similarity of a sheep, but it can't be a crossbreed between a goat and a sheep itself, respectively. It can't be a crossbreed of those kind of animals together. It has to be exclusive over there. That's what Rava will actually hold. However, there's going to be, we can learn out from a writer that it could be some sort of crossbreed between different animals, like between a goat and a sheep, these are kosher animals naturally, that could be uh, slaughtered uh, because they could be slaughtered. But a crossbreed might be working. So there's a lot of different definitions within regards to it. So let's just revisit this case. Someone steals an item and admits to it before witnesses come that he actually stole the item or not. There'll be one set of punishment for the person. The person might just have to return the object itself. But if he kills it and there's witnesses or he admits to it, but if, if he kills the animal and he's stolen it also and he hasn't admitted to it at any case and witnesses come or it's found out later on, he will have to pay if it's a sheep itself four times the value of it. And if it's going to be an ox that he has stolen, something of the equivalent of that, five times the value of it. So there's different uh, uh, scenarios, different variables, different amounts. And also we're talking about in these uh, pages at the moment, Within regards to what if different witnesses come in? What if there's false witnesses? Witnesses that are proven to be false. Who actually pays the punishment at the end for this crime at the end? Would they have to still pay for it or not? What if there's false witnesses? Who, what if he, there's only witnesses that he stole it but they didn't kill it, didn't slaughter it afterwards? These are all different scenarios that will uh, take place inside the Gemara in today's uh, daf. So yeah, I'd like to dedicate this for Rufua name of someone that, a special person that is in hospital at the moment, Israel Ben Tamar and the full Rufuash Neymar and full uh, health. I wish you all a fantastic day.